Alright, so the last example deals with differential equations again. Same process, we're still asking, but give me, say, find the, the general, and we're going to find a particular giving you a condition, but the equations are going to be a little bit different, but it's going to be very simple and easy to stack exactly what we've been dealing with. So example six, final example, final. I'm going to give you a condition of 5, 0 equals 1. Okay. Now, with this, just like we've been saying the whole time, you need to get the y's to one side, get the x's to the other side. So that means dx needs to get to the, um, the right side and the y needs to get to the other side. Now, with this, where I was kind of thinking originally was, okay, well, I can move that 3y over here and then I can do the multiply dx to both sides. You can do that. Or you can just move the y over and then what we're going to do in a few seconds. So if you move that 3y over altogether, it will still work out and still get the same answer. I promise you. So I'm going to do it a little differently, though, so it's a little bit simpler. All right, so here we're going to multiply both sides by dx. Dx, sorry. And so that way the dx is canceled. We have dy over, sorry, not over, dy equals 3y dx okay and instead of us dividing by 3y let's just go and divide by y so technically we have dy we're going to do 1 over y dy equals 3 dx and i put it like that because again it should trigger something in your head to remember of what we've covered before when it comes to our integration because we actually had a rule on this and we did it already. And I did a video again on this, I believe. No, I didn't do a video. We actually did it in class. And it's actually posted on Google Classroom for you. So if for the year of 2000, the class of 2000, um, that that is actually there for you. So it's already up there posted for you. So that went on Google Classroom for your, what we're getting ready to hit with this. So here. This is natural log of y, absolute value bar, sorry. Because remember, the y value has to be a positive value. It cannot be negative. Here, that's remember, is x to the 0 power. So it means we're going to do uh, 3x and then plus c. And again, here, remember, x to the 0 power. We have 1 to that. Divide by 0 is 1. It gives us 3x. So that's where that 3x came from really quick. All right, so with that part here, to be able to get this so we can solve for y. There's something that we did when it came to um, um, logs, when it came to pre-cal, and hopefully you guys remember it because we probably didn't hit it that hard, <laughs> but it's there. So we said, okay, to get rid of natural log, we can raise it with the base of e. And if we do that, that means the natural log and, and E cancel out, and we're left just Y. That's one of the rules that we have. So the natural log and E cancel. They're opposite of each other. They're inverses of each other. And just like inverse trig functions cancel each other out, the inverse functions cancel each other out here. And we're left with E to 3X plus C. All right, now... One of the things that happens when it comes to exponential equations, there are rules for exponents. And if there's addition sign up there, that means that, for example, let's say this. Let me put this off to the side, for example. This is our side note. So if we had x squared times x squared, what we would do is say x and then 2 plus 2, which is x to the fourth. Or if we had x cubed times x to the fourth, we would do x 3 plus 4, which is x to the seventh power. We raise the power to a power, we multiply. When we're, we're multiplying, we add the exponents. So here, this is already added here, though. So that means that we can rewrite it. We can go from here back to this portion right here. So that's what we're going to do. All 
Now you might be like, well, why did we just do that? That didn't make sense. That's stupid. Not really, because e to the c, well, c is constant. It's some constant number. We don't know what it is yet. Well, e to the c, e is another number, and e raised to that c, that constant, is another number. So what we say in math and what we say in calculus is, okay, e to the c is like another constant, but we don't know what it is. So we just say, okay, instead of that being e to the c, we'll say it's just c. And we'll find out what that c is when we actually do our initial value that they gave us at the beginning. So technically we have this going on. And this happens every time when we have an e and a c together like that. So we're going to go ahead and change this. So we have y equals c e to the 3x power. OK. And that's because it makes it look so much easier than it does with just having a, a time c on the back. It makes it look better. All right. So we have everything here. Again, the e and the natural log cancel each other out. So we had that rule that if we raise the um, natural log to the e base e, and we do it on both sides, it will be able to cancel out the natural log here, and then we'll have e on this side. E and natural log cancel out. So whatever you do to one side, you do to the other side. All right. Once those canceled out, we said, okay, well, we know our rules for exponents. If we're adding exponents like this, that means they have the same base. And all we do is multiply them. So we went from this side to back here to the original. So we went from here and we went back to this. So they have the same base. And then here we said, okay, well, e to the c is a constant. E is a number, like 2.19, blah, 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 blah. So if 2.19 to a constant, it's just going to be a constant number, and we don't know what that is yet. So we just make it C, because it's going to be a constant of some sort. And then we just put that C in front. And now we go ahead and deal with our initial value. And the initial value said Y of 0 equals 1. So again, this is your X value. This is your Y value. Substitute those in. We get that here, that cancels. So that would give us, not cancels, but gives us zero. So that would be c to the zero, c e to the zero. e to the zero is one. So pretty much c is equal to one. So c equals one. So technically, when it comes to our actual particular formula, and again, this is our general, solution and our particular solution would just be 1 e to the 3x power or we just say y equals e to the 3x power okay and that's it so the only thing that we've done each time that was different is the work. It deals with rules that you've uh, we've covered that you have to remember and keep in your head. Um, so that's all that is happening with all these. Now, one thing I will throw in here because it could happen on like work or anything, or practice something I give you. Whenever we deal with um, the original portion here, we could have y and an x plus four, or we could have like, Mm. It's a x y plus y. You will still have to be able to separate the y's to the left side and x to the right. So that means you're going to have to do some work at times to simplify it down to get to move. Like for example, for this first one, we factor out a y, and then we can move things around. So this one's already factored out. So we would move the y over, divide by y, and then multiply both sides by dx. So you might have to do some work here to simplify it down so you have the y to move it over. But you're always going to have to get y to the left side with the dy and x to the um, and x on the, left, the right side with dx. It's always going to happen here. It always has to happen. All right, that's it. That is differential equations.